Hey YouTube, AR15 guy here. So, wife and I decided it's time to sit down and do our taxes. And my wife and I do pretty good. We're, we live pretty comfortably. I, I feel blessed. But we sat down and did our taxes. And I was expecting, you know, I was expecting to get a couple thousand back. You know, we have daycare and we have, you know, four kids and we have, you know, house payment and interest and all of that stuff. We have, you know, we have quite a few deductions and uh, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of write-offs, uh, charitable giving and that sort of thing. So we sit down and we did our taxes and I'm thinking, hey, you know, we're going to get, we're going to get a good chunk back up be able to get some things done and you know maybe have our floors put in and things like that so she sits down and does the taxes and after she's all said and done with it she comes up and we owe an additional thirteen hundred dollars ish I'm like are you kidding She's like, no, seriously, I put in all the stuff. She lists it all out. By the time she was all done, we paid a considerable amount in taxes. And they said, oh, no, you owe an additional $1,300. I'm like, that's got to be wrong. She's like, nope, she went through. I did this, and I did this, and I added this, and I did this, and I did this. And sure as shoot. We owe an additional $1,300. And it's frustrating because I'm like, you know, last year we got a couple thousand back. And that's kind of what I was expecting this year. Maybe a little more because last year we had just bought the house and we hadn't paid as much in interest um, and property taxes. Um, but, or in interest. Um, but this year we had paid all, you know, all a full year's worth of interest. Plus last year we didn't have daycare. So we didn't have, you know, that expense to write off. This year we had daycare, so I had that we had that expense to write off. So I thought, and we didn't give as much last year as we did this year. And I thought, we're going to be in the money this year. It's going to be nice. Uh, I bet you we're going to see, you know, three, four thousand bucks or more. And we owe thirteen hundred dollars. I'm still scratching my head. So anyway, it's very, very frustrating. You know, with the economy the way it is, you know, and all these people have said, hey, you know, be glad that you, you make that kind of money and be glad that you're blessed with that. And I, and I feel that to an extent, but my wife and I both work. Um, we both work our, our butts off. Um, we both give. We both uh, spend a lot of time away from the house trying to provide for our family. You know, and it always seems like the people who are the ones that are getting the huge tax breaks and getting the huge amount of, of money back in taxes and, you know, didn't pay a dime in are the ones saying, well, you know, you should feel blessed. I'm sorry, folks. I don't feel blessed that my government takes more than a third of my paycheck every month. I don't feel blessed about that. I don't feel blessed that my government has us in debt and yet still takes a gob sums of money from me and then tries to make me feel bad because me and my work, wife both work hard. So it's very frustrating. So if you're those people out there, yes, I feel blessed, but you know what? We work for our money. We have done things in our lives to put us in the situation that we're in. My wife went through three or four years worth of college to get her degree, to get a job where she's in. Some people chose not to do that. That's their choice. It shouldn't be up to them to tell me that, well, you should just feel blessed that you make so much. Well, you know what? We do make a healthy living, but we also have, we're providing for a healthy amount of people too. So anyway, guys, that's my frustration with the taxes. Very frustrated that on top of the amount that I we've already paid that I owe some more. Uh, so hey, you know, comment, right? Let me know what your frustrations are. 
Also, uh, stay in the fight. Um, like I said in previous video, they are coming after us through the states. The federal government stuff has kind of petered off. You know, we don't know what they're going to backdoor later, so stay involved, keep an eye on it. But also keep involved in your states, keep involved in your local governments. Missouri, Colorado, California, New York, um, Oregon, Washington, um, uh, just to name a few of the states that have already started trying to push through heavier gun uh, legislation. Uh, Connecticut um, and New Jersey, all these places, and they're doing it very 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 quick and uh, very deceiving so keep an eye out make sure your voice is heard keep making videos keep getting the word out um, keep writing your local government and federal uh, officials um, just keep at it uh, we got to keep this fight up um, let's let's make sure that this stuff doesn't continue to happen so anyway guys thanks for watching um, and like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, have a great weekend.